He lived on Park Avenue, the street of dreams. He worked on Wall Street, 50 floors up, with a legendary Pierce and Pierce overlooking the world. That's how Tom Wolfe described Sherman McCoy, a fictional bond trader and one of his most famous characters. Tom Wolfe died on Tuesday in New York, a city whose culture of Wall Street greed, classism, corruption, whatever you like, he skewered it in the novel Bonfire of the Vanities. It was later turned into a movie starring Tom Hanks. In the 80s, making money and living well was all that mattered. And no one did it better than Sherman McCoy. Now, he was a master of the universe. Tom, sorry, Hello. collated. Let's not lose our composure over a few hundred million dollars. Masters of the universe, no doubt, William Cohen. Had been inspired by Tom Wolfe, former M&A banker and now special correspondent for Vanity Fair. Good to see you, sir. Thank you. Um, the, see you, Richard. Look, we will focus on Bonfire of the Vanities and what it told us when he wrote it and what it told us about the whole, because it came at the same time as Greed is Good, Liars Poker, that, in, that, that idea that money was a god that had to be worshipped. And what Bonfire of the Vanities did was dispel that myth or at least puncture the, the, the pomposity of it. Well, Richard, first of all, thank you for having me on to talk about Tom Wolfe. I mean, he, it's a great loss here in the New York literary community. He was not only a great fiction writer, but he was a great journalist as well. Uh, a rare twofer, and it's a, it's a great loss. Uh, you know, in Bonfire of the Vanities, he really captured... Uh, the zeitgeist of the 80s on Wall Street, that period of time when, when first investment bankers were king, uh, supplanted to some degree by bond traders, and Sherman McCoy was the perfect embodiment of the bond trader, uh, the big swinging D, as we used to say, uh, and uh, master of the universe. Uh, he really captured it uh, just magnificently, uh, and that's why he will live on for a long, long time. And the quote about the bond, let me read it. He says, just imagine that a bond is a slice of cake and you didn't bake the cake, but every time you hand somebody a slice of the cake, a tiny little bit comes off, like a little crumb, and you can keep that. If you pass around enough slices of cake, then pretty soon you have enough crumbs to make a gigantic cake. I mean, that's prescient when we think about the subprime mortgage crisis, which then hits some 10, 20 years later. Well, uh, first of all, it's so beautifully written and such a wonderful image and such a perfect way to, to share with, you know, regular everyday people what bonds are all about and why people yep. buy bonds and why people get clip coupons. So, yes, it was beautifully written. And then, of course, of course, it, it was am amazingly prescient about what would happen in 2006 and 2007 and 2008. You know, uh, I remember uh, when I was first starting out on Wall Street, uh, I was working uh, late one night, uh, feeling very sorry for myself, and I was walking down Madison Avenue, and I, I, Bonfire of the Vanity had just come out, and uh, I found a $100 bill on the ground on the street on Madison Avenue, and I, ran, I looked up and I ran into Tom Wolfe, and I said, my God, I can't believe how prescient you were in writing Ban Bonfire of the Vanities, because you remember, Tawana Brawley was also the r big story then. And he looked at me and he smiled and he said, yes, I guess I was. And it was just a beautiful moment. And I'll never forget it. And it inspired me to go on and try to be a writer too. Has Wall Street changed? I do sometimes wonder, uh, where, you know, has Wall Street changed? Or <laughs> again, the quote is, do you really think this is your city any longer? Open your eyes, the greatest city of the 20th century. She come down from your swell co-ops, your general partners and merger lawyers. Has it changed? Well, there are very few general partners now. Now uh, all these Wall Street <laughs> firms are public companies where uh, uh, Wall Street uh, bankers and traders uh, now uh, take uh, their shareholders and creditors' money and put it into their pockets instead <laughs> of their own. So, no, human nature does not change, Richard. You know that as well as I do. Wonderful to see you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Let's have a drink. Let's have a drink when I'm back in New York. And I'll we'll even drink to Tom Wolf. Good idea. Thank you, sir.